Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum. Update Saturday, February 18th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time 2023. We have an X-Flare headed to Earth. There are two different models showing two different things, and we'll get to both of them in just a moment. But the big story, expansive winter storm to target the Rockies, Great Lakes, and part of the Northeast next week. Keep calm. It's boom time. A massive area of snow and, well, generally wet weather is going to be tracking across the country starting now through midweek. Take a look at this. Monday night through Thursday, the snow and rain outlook. Snow as far down as Flagstaff, Arizona, the entire Sierras, all of the Cascades, most of the Rockies. Heavy snow in my region as well and a big swath here in Minnesota Say it ain't soda, but it's true. Heavy snow and Arctic cold forecast also for Montana. And as temperatures drop, will snow fall on Puget Sound? Well, we'll see in a moment with the forecast. Snowstorms again close down Mesa Verde National Park for days, at least eight days this winter. So almost approaching a record there. And here's the forecast. Heavy rain continues in Hawaii. Massive winter storm next week. A plume of tropical moisture continues to produce heavy rain and flooding across the Hawaiian Islands. Meanwhile, a massive winter storm is expected next week to cro across large portions of the lower 48 with the system dividing and diving through the West early in the week before moving into the central U.S. and Great Lakes midweek. Expect widespread heavy snow and a wintry mix, high winds and severe thunderstorms as well. And stay tuned. For the full forecast as it unravels let's take a look at the latest gfs model here is sunday into monday you can see the system is going to be dipping down here's your tuesday forecast and so heavy snow will be in the cascades dipping into northern california as the system moves into the four corners region on wednesday into thursday so wednesday into thursday it's going to race across the country bringing a heavy swath of snow to Eastern South Dakota, Southern Minnesota, and most of Wisconsin. Take a look at that. Michigan isn't out of the woods either. And then the Northeast is going to be picking up some pretty significant totals there. So that is through wet Thursday. Take a look at that. And Friday, and here's your Saturday. Another system is going to pump through the Northeast, adding insult to injury through the weekend. Take a look at that precipitation. Winter is not over yet, kids. Shut up, Al. Get in your hole. He's very upset with the forecast. We're going to take a look at the next 132 hours in Europe. Heavy snow through uh, in Norway as well as Sweden. And the UK is going to be picking up some considerable snow. Scotland, the flakes will start flying Wednesday. And then Thursday, the snow will move south down into Spain and France and maybe even into North Africa. That's when the snow should move into the Alps shortly after Friday, February 24th, maybe for the weekend. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Nothing exciting happening, all pretty normal activity. We did have some significant lava fountaining at Villa Rica in central Chile, about 100 meters. There it is. So pretty fantastic shot there. Now let's talk about the X-Flare, shall we? We've got plenty of frames to look at here and you can clearly see here that it is a halo eruption meaning it is erupting 360 degrees albeit the biggest portion out there to the left but we definitely have a halo eruption and let's let it play through if it will let us Okay, so just give us one shot there. Come on, guys. We're getting hung up here. So clearly a halo eruption is headed towards Earth. Now, we're going to first take a look at Iswa. And it's showing quite a large blast hitting Earth here. We're the yellow circle. On all angles, it's looking like quite a significant blast to Earth. High up here in the whites and grays. But the WSA Enlil Spiral came out shortly after that. And let's uh, refresh it, see if it's changed any. Nope. And it's showing a much more glancing blow. 
And so we'll just play that through for you. You can see the flare coming out there, the X 2.28. And you can see where Earth is, and it almost nothing. None of the major portions in this model of the plasma are going to hit Earth. So very minor event here coming over from the NOAA product versus the NASA product is a little bit more severe. So what we should see is at least something. On the NOAA model, it's looking barely like anything right there. That's it. Just a small spike. But in the NASA model, whoa. So we could be seeing uh, geomagnetic storms G1 through G3. It's anyone's guess, so we're going to have to keep a close eye on it. Here is Discover Real-Time Solar Wind. The other CME may have arrived right here, but it is not really bumping up the KP index at all. We're still at K KP 2.5, and the 3D... Three-day geomagnetic forecast is not updated for this X flare, which is quite interesting. It is, however, the weekend, and maybe people are just off. But take a look at this. Do not engage with the man dressed in the Cookie Monster costume at Santa Cruz Wharf, according to police. Very interesting story, and a very creepy man in a very... They call him the Creepy Monster. <laughs> Now, I wanted to share this with you all. A stunning silver wedding dress was recovered from a 7th, 17th century shipwreck, as well as other amazing artifacts. That's like a leather book and some more garments. But that dress has silver beads woven into the, fact, the fabric. Look at that. We do not make products like this any longer in the United States or anywhere in the world. This was incredible craftsmanship where the silver was woven directly into the fabric. Now, the first crewed Starliner mission is on track for April, and this is going to take people to the space station and beyond. Boeing's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft was wheeled into a processing area at the Kennedy Space Center. Now, this is just the nose on a rocket. Can you imagine getting blasted into space on that? Well, you can witness it soon, uh, it is on schedule to launch mid to late April, according to NASA. So stay tuned for more updates. As NASA confirms, a 1,000-pound meteor hit the ground in Texas, the nexus of the Schmexes. Well, actually, I think on the show today, I thought they found this meteor, but it was a different one from England, I believe. But nonetheless, NASA confirmed that that boom we reported on the other day um, what they had the press conference was actually a meteor about two feet wide and weighed a thousand pounds and it fell on South Texas. Experts believe the space rock broke into several pieces before hitting the ground around 6 p.m. Wednesday near McAllen, Texas. And here we have video, so let's load that up. Whoa! A meteor... Holy macaroni. They even have a map here where you, the strewn field where people could potentially find a piece of that object. So if you're in McAllen, Texas, check it out and go find a piece of the meteor. Rare red auroras explode over America's and Europe's north and more are on their way. Yes, the rare red aurora exploded across northern Europe and Canada and there are more auroras coming. Let's take a look at the aurora forecast. Nothing currently happening. But when this geomagnetic storm gets here on the 19th or the 20th, that's just in about 24 hours, it could be auroras down into the low latitudes. So that's kind of interesting. Now, what is that bright white star shining in the southwest after sunset? Is that freaking you out? Have you called it Jupiter? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, it's Venus, the brightest object in the night sky aside from the sun and the moon. Earth's hotter sister planet has been gradually rising into the night sky, low in the southwest at Christmas to where it is right now, and it'll continue to rise up there until July. And we'll get brighter through June 4th when it reaches its furthest from the sun. So fantastic things happening in the night sky the most recent thing you want to look up for is February 21st through the 23rd. Jupiter, Venus, and a slim crescent moon will all align. Just look southwest after sunset. Fantastic. As well as our radio 
show today. Leah and I talked about 536 AD, the worst year to be alive. And we talked about more, the dark ages in general and all the volcanoes going off. So please tune into the show on Magnetic Reversal News, 536 AD, the worst year in history. And that is a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. I hope you got something out of the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Support our work and become a Patreon. We love you. Be safe.